Hi guys, what's going on and welcome to Diplomacy is Not an Option. So I've just been having a little bit of a play around on this, just finished the tutorial and this is a really epic game. It's basically like a base building, castle building, wave survival game, a little bit like uh, They Are Billions. So you're basically starting off with this, you've got your central keep and then you've got to build up basically a little bit of a city. Let's get some lumber mills going. Uh, we don't actually get that many starting resources, and we don't get very many builders, so <laughs> I'm going to assign them a lot of tasks here right at the start. Things I want to get built up. Uh, stick a building hut around here somewhere. Uh, let's stick it around there. One thing I have learned is to keep good spacings between the buildings so your characters don't get stuck. But yeah, essentially, um, we have a few days before the first wave, so on day four we're going to get that first enemy wave. And they are not very forgiving. I, the first time I played this, I thought, oh yeah, you know, just got it on medium. How hard can it be? And then a massive army marched around the corner and absolutely flattened me. So, yeah, harder than it looks is sometimes the answer to that. Let's just go over and grab this wagon here. Looks like it's got a little bit of wood on it. There are also some bandits around the map. So if you venture too far out, you can sometimes end up sort of aggroing some of the bandits. But they also have some resources which you can grab for them. So it could be a little bit of a mixed bag. But for now, that little bit of extra wood is really useful. We also start off with a catapult, which is a fairly strong um, weapon. Siege engine? What would you call it? Um, that sort of thing. It throws rocks, big rocks, and it does it quite effectively. Um, so that's quite a nice, quite a handy start. And when you start to see some of the animations when the, uh, when the boulders slam into the enemy, it is really quite satisfying. So we've got our uh, woodworkers up and moving. We've still got 40 wood to spare. Um, probably the main initial challenge we've got to do is get to the upgrade of here, which is going to mean we're going to need a stone mine at some point. But as of yet, we haven't got enough population. So this is my... I currently have 19 people, which I'm housing and feeding, but I've currently got no free workers. And I'm going to gain 9 population a day up until my cap of 42, unless I decide to build myself some more houses. In which case, you can have more population. So, really, we're kind of stuck a little bit until the next day. Although it's not long till night time now, so we'll kind of soon be there. We have probably got some of these we could consider upgrading. Ah, oh, I need stone to get the uh, upgrading there. We'll hang on then. We're not building that quickly to be desperately needing that. Getting some of our berry pickers set up. So they're just going to gather these little berry bushes. We've got to remember that in this game, resources are finite. So when you cut down trees, mine stone or iron, it's gone. And it's gone forever. So, yeah, you do have to spend your resources wisely. Or you have to keep going sort of increasingly far away to try and get some of this stuff unlocked. I may actually just throw up a watchtower here. These watchtowers give you really quite a good view distance, it seems. Kind of helps being able to spot where the enemies are going to be coming from. Uh, or at the very least, it opens up a bit more the map. You can kind of see where you can stick your castle wall to try and bottleneck them slightly. Um, okay, it's going to be the next day soon. That will give us some more workers. We're definitely going to be getting ourselves a stone mine set up. I think only 25 wood, so well, well worth it. Come on, give me workers. Need the population growth. Hey, there we go. No, there we go. Let's get that stone mine placed. Ah, and you can see how much more we can see now we've got this watchtower set up. So actually, we've got quite a nice defensive bit to the north. If the enemies do come from this side and we can get them to bottleneck through here, we can really just stick a couple of towers up there, and that should be pretty good for us. You can see all the little bandit camps. <laughs> I love that they look so cool, the enemies in this. So they'll be happily stay there. They don't actually attack unless you go too near them. But at some point, we may end up needing the space and the land that they can produce for us. So... We shall see. Um, let's try and grow our population slightly quicker. So I'm going to go for the third house. Same time, I'll go for a watchtower down in the south just so I can see what's down here. I'm starting to build out that way a little bit. Um, we have got our stone mine set up. We have got enough technically for a second stone mine. So should we do that? Let's do it. Maybe we. Sh maybe that was a mistake. Maybe we should have gone for a barracks first. I think. A how expensive is a barracks? 80 wood. Okay. Quite expensive then. Um, yeah, we're going to have to save up a bit wood. Get chopping! Chop faster, you bastards. Come on, get it into the supply. 
We need that wood. We really could do with recruiting more people than just our starting force. Uh, would make life a little bit easier. Okay, we get to see kind of a little bit down to the south there. Not too bad. Quite a lot of trees here, which we're going to want to be making use of, really, if we're going to try and survive this level. Okay, nice. Our second stone mine is up. That's really driving me ward towards the Town Hall 2 upgrade, which is what I'm kind of going for with that. Um, I'm going to... Have I got enough people? No, I don't. Da. We're kind of stuck on a population shortage. Well, if we're stuck on a... Do we save for the barracks or do we go for a fourth house? Ah, oh, come on. Economy first. Uh, yeah, let's go for the fourth house. That should mean if it gets built in time, we'll get the extra population. It's currently going to be gaining 11. And that should allow me to put up a few more lumberjacks camps. We can try and harvest the wood with with haste. And then we can kind of go from there. Go on, get it up in time. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that means we're going to gain 13 population tomorrow. And we've still got quite a lot of room left. What's was something I needed stone for. What was that? No, not a storage pit. Oh, we need to... I forgot completely. So when people die, you actually have to bury them. It's something I'd completely forgotten to do. And that requires a graveyard. So we'll build a grave digger who digs the graves and the graveyard where you bury people and actually each person has a little individual tombstone you'll see it when it happens it's really kind of quite cool actually our granary is full i don't know if anyone else gets a uh, slight stronghold vibes playing this game i always think of the voice the granary is full sire hmm i don't think we're going to start building defensive structures yet but now we've got our extra workers nice we're cutting this pretty fine on the old um, barracks building because I'm throwing more resources into these lumber mills. Although they don't actually require anything, which is nice. Enemies are coming from that direction. Now, the multi-million dollar question, is it going to throw them into the bottleneck or is it not? And the other question is, have I got time to build this barracks, which I've probably left far too late? 80 wood, okay. Come on. Need that wood now. Bring me the wood. 71. Come on. 76. Okay, we've got to actually build the barracks and then we've got to actually try and recruit people. Ooh. Yep. Come on. Come on. Ah. Why is no one chopping down trees? Come on. Here. He's got the wood. Come on. I don't want to bring it all at once. Just need you to get to 80. Nice, right, there we go. Um, where we place it? There. Mm, I should probably not put it quite that close, but there we go. I'm at the risk of slightly distracting my builders as well. Oh, we haven't got enough for a wooden tower. Have we got enough for a little wooden wall here? No. Well, oh, I've not even got enough for any gates. We're having a wood crisis. And we have 1 minute 56 into the enemy wave. Now are they going to come down this alley here? I think they are. So let's move our army to this position at least. Barracks is nearly online, which it is. Um, let's set our marker over here. I love this little marker. Ding! Ding! I love the little animation. Um, I even cost wood to build archers. Let's go and throw a few archers out there. We should have enough for a gateway now at least. We'll put like there and then that should give us a little bit of wall on each side and then I can probably put a tower on each side if needed I don't think that's going to get built in time though but some of our archers should at the very least get there hopefully um, and stone production is picking up which is nice that's pushing us towards our target ah that was it comfortable shoes I knew there was something I wanted stone for my dodgy memory just couldn't remember what it was one minute and the builders have arrived at the gate. Build like you've never built before. Yeah, okay, that's going to go up in time. Nice, nice, nice. We can then stack some of the arches on the gateway. I think you can man six, is it? Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, 
Now we're getting stronghold vibes. I just really hope they come down. If they come down here, their level of <laughs> annoyed Evo will be intense. I don't leave that section of all. Please say you can't not access there. Is it because there's a tree in the way? That is slightly annoying. Not going to lie. Ah, there we go. Did you? They walked all the way around. Okay, well, with six seconds left to go, we're all in. Can I close the gates? Is everyone in? Everyone in? Any more? Any more? Seal the gates. Enemy forces are approaching. Huh? I think we can stick a few of these on the wall. Sure. Oh, I'll put one on that side as well. Okay, right. Well, let's just hang it. I think it's going to take them a few seconds for them to turn up. Glad we got that all built. See how quickly going on. I can hear their horns. Oh, you can see it. The dot kind of moving across the map, I think. The horde. The horde is approaching. I think they're coming straight for me. Which is what we want. Can we build catapults at this? Oh, you get. Oh, there's all sorts of guys. Hammer guy. It's a more player. Research complete. Ban them. Uh, right, here they come then. Archers, make ready. Oh, there's, I mean, there's quite a lot. And even though they're not super strong, I love that catapult. That catapult is just fantastic. Ooh. Just annihilates the trees as well. Catapult. Oh, I think we just shot ourselves. Thankfully, I don't think friendly fire is on. Okay, well, they made it to the gates, but I don't think they're going to get through. Hopefully. They're actually doing a fair chunk of damage. Turn on auto repair. Go on, keep taking them down. <laughs> oh, that catapult is fantastic. Okay, nice. First wave survived. We have many, many more to go, though. Um, okay, back to the economy then. What have we got to do next? We've almost got enough to upgrade our town hall here. We've got the wood. We just, um, we've got the stone, sorry. But we just need a little bit more wood, as always. Always a little bit... Sh I, thought I, need it. I thought I had eight lumberjacks working there. Then a second. That would have been nice. There we go. So let's get that upgrading. From there, we're now hit our population cap. So we probably want to build more houses, but we're not going to immediately have the um, wood to do it. But that should build up again pretty quickly. And then they're probably going to have to start thinking about food, aren't we? It sounds like... Where did you come from? They are attacking our buildings. Mm -hmm. Will you... You're the Lord. Oh, look. Because they're, they're wandering around and triggering them off this bandit camp. Idiots. Why are you even trying to go that way for anyway? You can get down here to build the repairs. <laughs> this is the kind of incompetence I'm having to work with. Very slowly knocking down my builder's hut. Let's go. It's even triggered the catapult now. Uh, there's only four. If there's only these few over here, we'll just go and deal with this bandit camp. Moving. Yeah, cut them to pieces. All right. You don't have to sound quite so miserable about it, mate. All right. I'll have them. Sounds like he's from Birmingham. <laughs> Right, there we go. Let's go. There we go. We've got a little gem, which is this stuff here. You can use them to do, like, summonings. So you can summon some, like, troops. But they only last for, you know, two minutes or something. But kind of good in a clutch emergency. Right, cut him down. Okay, nice. So, we don't necessarily know that the enemy is going to come from that direction next time. They may not. And actually, we only have another two days, so we really need to start cracking on with this. The builders got massively distracted trying to repair this little section of wall, so that's wasted a load of time. Um, they've still not built the town hall upgrade, so we've still got to do that. 
We probably need more stone mines, although they're busy kind of working away. We have still got our four lumber mills. But I wouldn't mind building a fisherman's hut here because I think the food situation may start to become a little bit of an issue before too long with our ever-growing population. We probably can start to recruit some more archers, though. I'm just conscious that I want to leave enough free workers to do something else if we need to. Let's start getting a few recruited. We could build another tower down here. You know, something like that into the walls. Probably would be good to do. Again, it's just a bit of a bit of a building job, isn't it? Let's open the gates so they perhaps have better access. We can always close it again if we have to. And then I guess we might just think about where our next defensive lines are going to be. It's a really nice one here. I love these mountains, but we kind of need to see a little bit what's over here. We could go exploring manually, but I suppose you riskies, you always end up triggering uh, some of the uh, some of the little local barbarians they end up coming raiding you, which is always a pain. How long have we got? Day five. When they're coming? Day seven. Actually, really not long before wave two. I would describe that as concerningly close. We may end up having to use some of our uh, spectral troops if we're not careful. I really need to get this town hall built as well. Pretty badly. Maybe I should have just built another builder's hut because... The queue to get things built is um, getting a little bit out of control. Although, actually, I can level this up shortly, can I? Yeah, once we've got that town hall upgraded, I can actually level that up. And that should double the number of builders. Probably be the first thing we do when we get this town hall leveled. Day six soon, though. Ugh. Running out of time. Also running out of storage space. Up to almost 160 wood. We don't actually have... You can, this is our total storage capacity, basically. And total food storage capacity. Something else we need to increase. There we go, that's that done. So, let's get that upgraded. Oh, yeah. A new day. Oh, we're our maximum population, aren't we? Uh, Housing-wise, I think we can now yeah, build a fountain here. Which should increase the number... Uh. Kind of, of people we have available there. We can do... Definitely want to do the archer damage upgrade. Because, well, basically our army consists of archers. Let's get these double builders done and then let's start getting these houses upgraded. How much stone have we got? Yeah, we've got enough. No, not quite enough. Mostly enough. At least to get some of them upgraded. And there's the second builder's house, so that takes another two workers. So we should have six builders now, four from the hut, and two from there. And it looks like they're going to be coming in the same direction, which is perfect for me. I'll take it. So let's send our archers around here. I'll probably just leave these four swordsmen here just in case some sort of asshole barbarian comes out a little poke what around. Man. What's that? Let's some go. sacks of something. I'll go and collect them, whatever they are. I'll have them. If they're free, I'll have them. So we've got our tower up there now. We might build a have a lot of wood here with more than enough wood. Oh yeah! Okay. And stick some archers in this tower. I'm not sure why they have to seem to go outside the front gate anymore sure. all the time now to access these places, but hey ho. Oh, and then we'll have this tower here, which should give me another nine. And then we're going to be looking perfect. And we should. We may get enough. Well, no, we're not going to get enough population, are we? We're only going to be able to recruit three more archers. Hmm. We haven't complete. had much time on this one, have we? Between the days, it seems like it's been quite. Who's aggroed something? Moving. Oh no! Please don't destroy my woodcutters' camp. Here we go. I'll get off. I'll have them. Oh, you assholes! <laughs> God damn you, peasants! You shall suffer greatly for such insolence. That's why I left the swordsman there. And now we have to build a new lumber camp. Uh, gah. Right. Still, can't be helped. Let's recruit three more archers. And send them down here. Um, let's close the gate. Put these guys in the archer tower up here. 
Um, then we'll get three more, which put five, and that's a fairly good chunk of archers. I don't think they'll get through the wall in time. Again, as long as they come to this little gap here. It'd be nice if they came this way every time. Certainly make my life a lot easier. But I suspect we shall have no such luck. Uh, yeah, these houses are now good. Uh, that one's still going to be upgraded, which we can do. We'll just upgrade our barracks soon, but again, we need more stone. I think we can actually upgrade these stone mines coming. Yes, but I've not got enough workers. Darn. Oh, we might even be able to harvest iron now as well. I'll stick an iron mine here. That's why I'm sticking that storage center there. Enemy forces are approaching. We are potentially starting to run a little low on the old food front as well. But the enemy army is on its way. Come on, archers. Up your tower. Now let's hope between the archers and the catapult, we can hold out. I think we've got enough. As long as they come the right way. It's honestly the main thing, I think. So if they go the wrong way, we're up a creek a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of bandits down there. This makes a fairly large hole. Hmm. It's going to be a bit harder to deal with, isn't it? A few more spare people now, at the very least. Um, I think... Can we now do farms? Yeah. Where are we going to build a farm, though, that isn't going to aggro a load of bandits and uh, take up too much lemon room? Oh. Here comes the enemy army. The catapult's being put to work. Oh, I'm certainly getting a lot more arrows in this time. Loose those arrows. <laughs> I love that catapult animation when it lands. God, there's a lot of them though, isn't there? I'm glad we managed to get this wall up. Ooh, he says, as I start to get slightly nervous. That catapult is doing work. Stop coming! She said. Um, I'm making myself laugh through innuendo. I think that wall's going to hold. Even the tower's taking damage. We have to upgrade that soon, actually. We have to get the iron mine up. As long as it just doesn't fall. I don't know what happens if it falls if you lose the archers are actually in it. That would suck. Woohoo! Pop. Wave held. Nice. No casualties. The workers have turned up to repair the walls already. Um, yeah, so is what we were thinking about doing was... Um, what were we thinking about doing... Mm, farm. That was the word. Oh no, first we want the iron mine, don't we? Iron mine, iron mine, iron mine. Do we need two? Yeah. All the iron. And we're going to have no resources again once we put this farm up, are we? But... Oh, less room here than I... Had anticipated, I must admit. This is not particularly well thought out. Oh, we got that one in there. Oh dear, that was rather badly placed, wasn't it? In fact, some might say that was terribly placed. Um, I suppose we don't know where the next attack is going to come from. Oh, over over recruitment. Let's, let's cancel a few of them now. Um, hey. So we've got our stone mines upgraded. We're getting a couple of them built now. Hey. Does a granary require a person? I don't think it does. Hey. I'm conscious of wedging too much in too small a space. Hey. Oops. So let's go and stick hey. the granary up there. I don't think I want to deal with this lot, but some of this lot... I don't really want to deal with any of that lot, but, but I guess we're going to have to. I'll stick a watchtower down over there. Oh, we need to get this barracks upgraded as well, don't we? Um, is there any research that we want to be doing? 
That's expensive. Oh, it's all expensive. Why is everything so expensive? I would like a stone wall upgrade, but cracky. Not at that cost, I wouldn't. Oh yeah. Um, uh, right. Oh, there's a lot there for my pilly little army. Let's go and deal with these guys around the corner first. Okay. Um, I'll probably end up moving all this lot when we get attacked from a different oh, yeah. direction or something. Looks like we've got a few, an extra day though this time. Deal with what's left of these guys. Okay, well, that at least gives us a little bit of space down there. Let's go and. Oh, it's quite a lot, but we'll risk it, I think. Always we'll summon if we absolutely have to. Oh, they've got trolls! Trolls! Oh, I'm going down relatively easy. No, you can attack. I mean, just don't... Don't wander too far forwards. Try not to aggro the entire enemy camp at once. Because those trolls are pretty dangerous. Oh, goodness, we haven't really got the troops for this. And someone has just died. Oh, yeah, down there. Let's increase the... Uh, Oh god. Oh god. Fire! Fire quickly! Okay. Right yeah, that's not gone so well. Yeah, you're supposed to aggro the enemies, not the not the camp. Oh I, I think I think they're in trouble. Seems a shame to use a Spectral Warriors in this sort of situation, but otherwise I think we're completely screwed. I think we may actually be completely screwed anyway. But keep firing, archers! Keep firing! People are starving. Oh, we have famine. Lovely. God, there's more. How many of these bloody warriors are there? Are under attack. Uh, we need to think about the, the actual town as well. We need to build a market at some point. Hey. I don't know if these buildings actually hey. recruit more enemies, but they seem to keep coming. Hey. Stand still. and shoot him. Well, at least we get a couple of these um, crystals back for our, our earlier expenditure hiring the warriors. Let's go and deal with these last couple of buildings and then hopefully that at least gives us a slightly better area down south. Okay, cool. Did you get the crystal? No, get the crystal. Thank you. Right. Down here, let's just throw up a watchtower. So we can see our southern boundary. This is probably the best place to place a wall down this side. And that's going to cover the full south. We've got a little gap here, so if they come from this sort of diagonal bottom corner, that's a viable option. Um, oh yeah, we're starving, aren't we? That was a problem as well. So many problems. So many problems. We could build a large obelisk. Might as well. It would be rude not to. Wouldn't it? Um, we probably do need to build a hospital at some point. We should probably, in fact, actually just do that. Straight in the middle of that berry bush, but hey-ho. Um, iron production is looking good. Um, increased durability of the walls, towers. No, don't need that. We have still got all these archers down here if they do decide to attack that way again. Oh, yeah. uh, we probably need a slightly better there. recruitment uh. spot. Oh, we've got a few more archers over there. I sound like I'm under attack somewhere. Oh, yeah. sure. 
Where are we under attack? Oh, God. Don't destroy the farm. No, this is banned. Stop right there, criminal scum. Lemon bandits. Oh, dear. Um, how long have we got? Day 9, so we're going to go day 10. Okay, so we've got another day tomorrow. Um, where do we want to risk building? Oh, God. So much stuff down there. We can't just aimlessly stick arches in the middle of nowhere. Wow, that stone mines are now. Should we build a second one of them, then? Because um, we definitely need to keep getting stone brought in. Everything else is still working, I think. People are starving. Okay, never great, never great. Let's, at least in the short term, just build another fisherman's hut. Before we decide where we're going to build another farm. Okay, there's a group of people down there. We can probably fit in, well, we can fit a few berry, berry harvesters huts down here, can't we? I'll set a few people to gathering some berries. Um, okay, looks like they're coming from the north. That may end up going the same way. I mean, all this bit funnels down to here. Well, that being so... Let's do some upgrading then. Um, yeah, let's get those three upgraded for now. If they go the same way, that would be absolutely magical. Because uh, I think there's a good chance we'll hold there. Because it funnels them in quite nicely at that little location. So that would be good for me. Um, wow, what on earth is going on here? I'm very much liking the random airboat. Oh, we can sell... Oh, uh... No clue how this works. Oh, I can trade food for... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so I could get gold if I wanted to. Well, I don't need any gold yet, I don't think. I've not seen anything yet that's going to cost me gold. And um, we've got our iron mines running. Uh, we could upgrade a grave digger's house, but I don't think we're having that many casualties. We've got our barracks too. Oh, we can make catapults for the engineer's guild. Now that, I wouldn't mind. Everyone loves a catapult. There's not too much actually over in this direction. I may... Um... Would that be rash? No, I, I don't think that would be rash. Let's knock down these lumberjacks. And we're going to rebuild them over here. And then next to them we can build nothing. Because we don't have any wood. And we don't have any lumberjacks. <laughs> Good job, Evo. Good job. But effectively, if I can build a little storage there, they can take the wood there, and then, you know, we can start to clear this area because there's not really very many bandits there, and it's an easier place to expand into than, you know, the great infestation that is down here. Huh? Um, we're going to have to move the remainder of my archers over here because we only have 50 seconds. Um, I suppose these little s s sections of wall should probably have been upgraded, wouldn't they? Uh, anyway, let's get the archers there. We can stick a few more on this tower here. I don't think it actually increases the number of archers we can sort of stock, for want of a better word, in our tower. A little bit of basic hygiene. Never a bad thing. Uh, 26 seconds. Please come this way. I think they have to funnel this way, given the, the this sort of massive northern outcrop. Which is definitely a nice beneficial place to have. It looks like our food production has picked up. Actually, we can afford a little storage point now, soon, in, te in one wood time. Huh? Let's throw the extra little man on there. Enemy forces are approaching. Sure. Now, one archer ended up on the wrong side of the wall. Well, round you go. Just keep an eye on this little icon because it moves with the blob. So we should be able to tell then if it's going in the right direction or not. Has no one put any more wood in at all since I was last here? He's going to deliver some, I think. There we go. Nice. 
Let's go and get that built there. This is probably going to produce quite a lot of enemies, given how many were in the last sort of horde. We do now have um, a controllable ray. Oh, you need to wheel left. You do, you do, you do. I I've never used this before. Should we use it before they arrive or after they arrive? That's the million dollar question. I suppose the obvious answer Research is... Research complete. Sort of here, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, that is fun. <laughs> well, that, that was entertainment in a nutshell. <laughs> I... I greatly enjoy that. Uh, okay, now they're all smashing up to this stone tower. Oh, that's like a heal. Chasing a poor builder. Um, I wasn't concerned. Now, now, hashtag slightly concerned. Going down, it's these big trolls that I'm a little bit worried about. <laughs> One pot archer fighting on the flanks. Not sure what this deer and the rabbit are doing. Uh, we're about half health now. Just under. Let's some of this lot go down. Ooh. Ooh. Do we try and defend that tower or is it not worth the shards? Try and stick some defenders in front of it to try and buy that tower time. Well, they've got a catapult. Oh, unexpected. Brought the tower time, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to go down. No. Will the archers survive? That's the next question. Ah, interestingly, yes. Well, let's try and run back slightly. Defend the breach! To the breach! I think we should be okay because we're moving on to the next tower. Archers, focus on the enemy catapult, please. Good job. Huh, well, that was challenging. Interesting to know that your archers survive if they fall off. That's kind of cool. But anyway, I suppose we should probably end the video there. It's probably been far longer than any of you actually wanted to watch. But hopefully it was at least vaguely entertaining. If it was, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more diplomacy is not an option and random medieval content. Thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you all on the next one.